that pulled pork, and it was it wasn't the kind that you buy from the store. It was the real. They made it. Yeah. They, like it was so good. And they said, well, we're going to add some uh, uh, baked beans and mac and cheese and pork. Oh, my God. That's what you ate? It yep. was good. It was real so good. So you was eating pork, huh? That was more than no, was leaving I'm Houston. Just I'm yeah. just, you just ate pork now? You just ate pork and beans? It was pork in this. What's, What's up, up incredible, incredible fam? fam? Welcome back to another episode of The, the Incredible, incredible Scots. Scots. On tonight's episode, y'all, we are doing day three of childhood struggle meals. meals. And everybody been saying these ain't no struggle meals, and I don't think they struggle meals either. These are called childhood favorites. Favorites, But on yeah. tonight, we got some... Pork and beans. Pork and beans and hot, hot dogs. dogs. Y'all already know how your girl do, so I just got some uh, beans with some vegan hot dogs in there. Daddy got pork and beans and hot dogs. And then we got some hot dogs down here. I have a vegan hot dog, and I took it all the way old school with the regular sliced bread. Daddy got buns on his bread. So y'all already know what the deal is. If this is your first time visiting our channel, welcome to the incredible fam. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell to be notified every single time we do what? Drop a video. And make sure that you tell somebody to tell somebody that the Scots are doing big things right here on our channel. We get ready to get into this intro so we can get into this old school classic meal. meal. Sit back and lie. Right, it's about the time. Matter of fact, subscribe. Hit that bell be notified. You're officially. Rocking with incredible stars Here on this thing, expect everything From family vlogs to challenges and even mug things Tell somebody to tell somebody that you subscribe Tell somebody to tell somebody you hit that like, yeah Yeah, yeah, you're officially, yeah y'all we are back and we are ready to get into this old school classic meal yeah. uh daddy getting ready to hit us with the grace so we can go ahead on and get into this food father god we thank you for this food as we're about to receive it for the nourishment of our bodies for christ's sake amen amen all right y'all i'm so anxious to know what these hot dogs taste like Man, I tell you, man, I haven't had this in... Me? Yeah. I yeah. can't even... I think the last time I had pork and beans and hot dogs, I think I was still like... Maybe a teenager? I was a teenager. I haven't had this since I was a teenager. This is crazy. And I don't even know if I had them when I was a teenager. And this is my childhood favorite right here. Uh, pork and beans and hot dogs. Well, you know what's going to happen tonight? And you know what else I used to do? You know what's going to happen tonight? What? Beans, beans. Oh, beans man, come on, man. Heart. Anyway, you know what <laughs> I used to do? The more you eat them? They ain't said like that. They said I heard it different. What they Beans, you, the more you too. Something like that. Oh, beans, beans. What? What? Saying. Beans, beans, something, something, something. The more you no. eat, the more you do. No. <laughs> something like that. No. Mm. Never heard of it. All right, y'all. I'm getting ready to do something that's probably going to freak y'all out. I've been doing this ever since I was a kid. I do this with my ravioli as well. I'm about to put some crackers inside my beans. Sure, I know. Let me get some. You have it? Let me try it. Yep. I'm going to do the same thing. I ain't crunching mine up. I just like the juice on the cracker. I don't know why. See that? I mean, it's true. I, I, it's no different. Than, it's just like chili to me. Yeah. Basically, you know, it's just like chili. I do the same thing with um with my um ravioli. My sister puts sour cream in her ravioli. Sour cream. I don't know about all that, but now sugar. We put sour cream in our chili. Yeah. I put jalapenos and sour cream in my chili and cheese. 
And this actually it is good with the crackers in it. Ain't it? Yes. Told you. It's good with the crackers in now, it. Now, this is for real struggle meal, baby. When you really want to get full. And this is my favorite childhood food. That was right? your favorite? Yeah, pork and beans and hot dogs. I would have to, to start. Always, because we used to always, like, if it wasn't nothing else, even if it was food, I used to just want some pork and beans and hot dogs. I used to tell my mom, I want some pork and beans and hot dogs. I should make me some pork and beans and hot dogs. I don't know what my favorite childhood um, meal was. I would probably have to say... Okay. And I don't know if this would be constituted as a, which is probably not, as a um, struggle meal. I'm sure it's not, but it's my, one of my childhood favorite meals. My mom used to make, now, this is going to sound crazy. My mom used to make beef stew. Mm. I hated vegetables. Like, I hated it. But she would make really good homemade beef stew. And I'm talking about bomb beef stew. Mm. The reason I liked it so much was because I didn't like the vegetables. I would literally pick all the vegetables out. I just wanted the juice and the meat. And then she used to make these cornbread patties that look like little pancakes. But they had like the little crispy edges around. Uh, mm. Y'all know ever since my mom has been gone, I have not found anybody that makes their. Now I've seen people make hot water cornbread, but that ain't what I'm talking about. This cornbread literally looks like pancakes, but it was cornbread. I remember he was telling me something about that. And it was so doggone good. And I would just dip that cornbread down in that uh, beef stew juice. Man, y'all talking about something bomb. Y'all know, I ain't gonna lie, and I'm sure every kid feels the same way, but I'm not gonna lie. My Aunt Michelle, I'm sure she will comment down below and agree. My mother was a bomb cook. Like, I don't think I know of anything that she could not cook. Like, the woman could cook her tail off. And I'm sure that's where I get it from. Because, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, you can cook, too. Yeah, but when I was... I used to like beef stew, too. The the, uh, the ones that came in a can. And they come in a can with, mm -hmm. all the, with all the meat in it. I ain't eat that. Not in a can. I never ate the one that came in the can because it always reminded me of dog food. For real? Yeah. I used to tear that beef stew up. It and looked came in like the can. dog food. With the vegetables, with the potatoes in it, the green beans in it, peas in it. And did the you meat. used to eat um? Did you used to eat um? What is that stuff called? It's like put. Child, I don't know. I think it's potatoes and some type of beef meat. But it's called like a uh, hash or something like that. I'm gonna find a picture of it and try to post it in the video. You talking about chunky soup? No, this one soup. It was uh, called. Hey, you got your phone? I don't think I've never heard of that. Let me let y'all see mine. They look good, don't they? I'm wasting. Look like real hot dogs. Tastes like real hot dogs. They look good. Yours look good. Like real pork and beans and hot dogs. Thank you. You want to come say hi? Zaza. Y'all see the grouch you just woke up? <laughs> say hi. Hi. Wait. Hi. It's called corned beef hash. You ain't ever eat that? I don't think I never had that. Let mm -mm. me show you. You might have had, but you probably just didn't know. Because everybody that, uh, everybody that ain't had no food like that, it used to come in the can. This is right here. No, I ain't never had that. Mm -mm. That stuff, well, uh, my whole point was that stuff and beef stew used to remind me of dog food. <laughs> it do kind of sort of look like dog food a little bit. But yeah, I used to look. I used to tear some beef stew up. Sure did. Y'all yeah, know what else I um? What when I was a kid, I used to eat um crackers with noodles. I would like them little bitty uh oyster crackers. And I'm the type of person when I make my noodles, 
Zelana tell you, mm -hmm. I don't, last night I just made my noodles regular. But the way I make my noodles, I chop up onions in them and be so stuff good. like that. Like oh, I good. hook my noodles up. Broccoli and I it. do not like my noodles to be like, I don't like my noodles to be dry. I like my noodles to have a little, like, okay, you see like how this got that little creamy sauce on it. That's how I like my noodles to be. Yep. So I could put me some crackers over in there and them crackers could kind of soak up their juice. Now that's fine. Mm -hmm. And you make your noodles good. I used to want you to do my noodles because you'll add more like onions, uh, sliced onions, uh, that little sauce, soy sauce. Oh my God. The noodles you made for me that day, they, ooh, man, they were so good. But hot dogs and pork and beans was uh, one of my favorites. And then the hot links. Them red ones? Yes. Me and my Aunt Michelle was just talking about them mm, today. Mm, mm. I used to love of, them. That kind of brings me to my next point. Okay, y'all. Y'all know we're doing seven days of str or childhood struggle meals. So we only got six days worth of food. So we need y'all to comment down below some struggle meals that y'all may have had. And then we're going to kind of go from there and pick one. And we'll do one of y'all's, you know, viewer requests. Yep, we used to get those uh, at the dollar store too, at the pink store. They we, they was hot links. Mm, mm, mm. They sell them at that corner around the, uh, that store around the corner. Oh, uh, uh, hometown pantry. Some of y'all was be going around there buying them things. And them, man, you put them on. You put some mustard on them. Oh my God, with some bread. And we ain't use, but we use regular. We used to use regular bread. And tear, I used to tear them things up. I couldn't think of that. That's it. I, I was thinking like, I, I used to love those when I was younger too. I like hot dog buns and hamburger buns and stuff like that. But it's just something about a sandwich with some fresh bread. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm telling you, ain't nothing like it. Same thing. Like, you make you a good a uh, home style burger like yes. a home burger home. and put it on you some good old white wonder bread mm. Mm -mm, baby that's fire with some melted cheese with lettuce put that mm. homemade burger yeah that's fire remember the uh remember the uh spaghettios that must used to be sometime. my favorite. Uh, SpaghettiOs and then, uh, of course, ravioli. I used to love putting sugar in my ravioli, too. And SpaghettiOs. When, we, when I was a kid, we didn't really eat a lot of SpaghettiOs and ravioli and stuff like that. Sure. I mean, we ate it sometimes, but my mama was the type of person that she cooked a lot. When, as long as she was, you know, able to cook, until she started getting sick and stuff like that. But she cooked a lot. And if she didn't cook, my daddy cooked. So, oh, yeah. They were some cookers. That's why y'all didn't eat too much of that, you know, ravioli, spaghettios. Man, I remember, and my Aunt Michelle will be able to tell y'all, I remember my stepdad. I don't really call him my stepdad. I call him my daddy. But he used to make... He, he had this real big old tall pot. It was a silver pot. Y'all, that pot was so big. <laughs> but he would make like two or three of them big old pots full of chili. Mm. Y'all, let me tell y'all something. Mm. This man, he could have put that stuff in packages and sold that stuff in the stores. That's how good that chili oh, was. Wow. But the only thing about it was you would be eating that chili. And I mean, your nose running, your eyes running, you sweat. Spicy. It was Ooh. so hot. Like, my stepdaddy loved hot stuff. But I'm telling y'all, that chili was so good that you would literally want to, like, kill yourself eating that stuff. Mm. And the reason why he made so much was because my aunts and uncles would be coming over with big bowls and, you know, taking some home with them. Like, that chili was so bomb. Like, I'm not going to lie. Now, my brother, my brother makes good chili, and he used kind of the same recipe, but I literally, the same 
as I said with them uh, cornbread things, I have not found nobody that make chili like that. Mm. And it was like, man, y'all. I'll tear some chili up, too. Man, you know, I like it. Man, chili is good. And he did not put beans in it. Mm. He what? did not put beans in his chili. Just the hamburger meat? It was just hamburger meat and whatever else he put in there. I don't know, but you could see the little specks of pepper in it. Oh, and stuff. Man. man, that stuff was so fire. And then another thing I used to love to eat too. It kind of put you in the mind of like uh, ravioli and spaghettios. What? It was the little, it was the spaghetti. I don't know if it was spaghetti or soup, but it had the dinosaurs in it. They were shaped like dinosaurs. Was it soup? I believe it was. They used to come in a can too. Now I remember. Like uh, I remember alphabet soup. Yeah. You remember that alphabet soup? Yep. Yeah. I used to love eating that alphabet soup and the ones with the uh, the soup with the dinosaurs. They were shaped like dinosaurs. I hated alphabet soup. Want me to tell you why? Because it had like uh, little square carrots in it, peas. And y'all do not mm -hmm. understand. Like, I live. Yep. <laughs> if, if my sister, I'm, matter of fact, I'm going to tell my sister to come watch this video so she can attest to this. If my food had some type of uh, vegetable in it, I would literally sit at that table all night long. And my mama would be like, You're not getting up until you eat that food. <laughs> I would not eat. Look, I'm trying to tell you, I didn't like corn, I didn't like green beans. I didn't like carrots. Oh, man. But what was crazy was I did not like corn, but I loved corn on the cob. I have to have, I got to have my vegetables. Man. I hated that stuff. But y'all know who just liked that? Zion. Zion Scott. She do not like vegetables. Only vegetables all. Zion will eat is broccoli. She do not and like. And it has to be cooked a certain way. Yeah, she's not a big vegetable person either. Mm-hmm. But she ain't got no choice around here. Mm. We raising healthy kids. Tell you, them vegetables, is, they good for you. Beans and green beans. Carrots. Now, as far as the um, veggie hot dogs in here, I like it inside the beans. As far as it on that bread, it's, it tastes just like a hot dog. But it tastes like a hot dog that haven't been cooked. That's oh. what it tastes like. Y'all know how hot dogs taste before they get cooked? Mm -hmm. That's what it tastes like. And on the sandwich you do, but... But in the beans, in the beans it tastes yeah. good. I mean, it ain't nasty. Childhood. There was another uh, throwback uh, struggle meal we used to eat, too. What? It was the cereal. Uh, what was that cereal called? It was like the little. It kind of. It was like the Star Crunch, but it was the. Uh, it had marshmallows in it, and it had the. And it had that King in the front of it, on the front of the cereal box. King vitamins. I don't think that's what it was. It had the little stars, and it tasted just like Captain Crunch. That's King vitamins. King Vitamins? Yeah. With the marshmallows in it? King Vitamins didn't have marshmallows in it. It was just them little star-shaped things. Baby, I know about yeah. them. It was like a yellow color box with the man on it with the king hat. Yep. And it had green letters. I yep. mean, not green, blue letters that said King Vitamins. Baby, that was our favorite candy, baby. We felt like we was eating Captain Crunch. Yeah, we used to tear that, man. We used to love that. Now, that uh, I'll tell you what. Now, my Aunt Michelle said... That what I've been saying wasn't really no struggle meal. That was the good stuff for them. But I'll tell you what was really a struggle meal. What's that? Them King Vitamin Cereal, and you had to make your milk up with that powder milk. Oh, now that's the, man. That's yes. the government. That's, that's the where government. you get your stuff from the government. They had that long Ugh. block of cheese. Government cheese was not nasty. Now I'm talking about that powder milk. The powder milk wasn't nasty once you put it with your cereal. I didn't like them when I was a kid. I just didn't. I don't know if we didn't make it right or I don't know. But we used to, me and my cousins, we used to use uh, powdered milk. I ain't never been fond of milk, period. So I guess the reason that I'm saying that it wasn't bad was because 
The only time I ever had milk was when it was with cereal. So, of course, yeah, it's going to be too. sweet. But what's crazy is, I'm not a big milk type of person, which we don't even drink milk anymore. We drink almond milk. Mm -hmm. But before we start drinking almond milk, like I would, the only time I would use, like we literally would have milk go bad because yeah, we wasn't too big we on didn't, milk. Like I don't, I don't do milk. And but what's crazy is when I was pregnant with Zion, I would sit up. I do not like peanut butter like that. Every now and then. I will eat peanut butter. Uh, but when I was butter. pregnant with Zion, I would eat peanut butter every single night. Zion would be knocked out sleeping. I would be up in the refrigerator with a peanut butter sandwich and a glass of milk. <laughs> Zion likes peanut butter. Don't she? She likes milk too, don't she? So, uh, yeah, she likes milk. Yeah, she do. She likes milk. And at first I used to be like, mm -mm, I can't do milk. I can't do milk. But me and my... um. My cousin's wife, we was pregnant at the same time. And she was like, girl, at nighttime, I be eating a peanut butter sandwich and a peanut butter jelly sandwich and a glass of milk. And baby, I ate that stuff one night. <laughs> Whew, and God be praised. <laughs> a peanut butter will never go out of style. Like, it's been, peanut butter been around since day one. So let me ask y'all a question. Would y'all consider hamburger helper a struggle struggle meal? Would you? I wouldn't. Mm -mm. You think that's like something you like a home dinner, or a little something to put together? I mean, it depends. I don't think I don't consider it a struggle meal though. Yeah, cause I was gonna do hamburger helper, but I was like, I don't know if that would be considered a yeah. struggle meal. Yeah, I, I, it's hard for me to consider that a struggle meal, cause you know what I say. You know, hamburger helper. You know, it's it's for you know most people do it for dinner, and they put it together for dinner. I don't know. Maybe. What about sloppy Joe? Sloppy Joe is not a struggle no, meal. No, that's not a struggle meal. Sloppy Joe is bomb. Mm-hmm. Sloppy Joe is my one of my favorites too. I like Sloppy Joe. But I don't think that struggle meals, for instance, for me, when I say struggle meals, I don't say it as something that's, you know, probably not good or something like that. When I say struggle meals, I say struggle meals based off of the fact of maybe you low on money. And y'all ain't really got no food like that. Something that would be cheap that you cheap. could feed your family with. Yeah. Like hamburger helper, you can do that. Like feed your whole family with it. Um, hamburger helper. Um, sloppy Joe too. Mm-hmm. Yep, sloppy Joe. Better put that stuff on some white Wonder Bread. Would you consider pulled pork a, a struggle meal? Absolutely not. <laughs> no. Absolutely not. Mm -mm, not pulled pork. I was in. I was on my way back to Illinois, leaving Texas, and I stopped at this. It was called Ducks. It had that pulled pork, and it was. It wasn't the kind that you buy from the store. It was the real. They made it. Yeah. They, the, like it was so good, and they said, "Well, we're gonna add some uh, uh, baked beans and mac and cheese and pork." Oh my God. That's what you ate. It yep. was good. It was real so good. So you was eating pork, huh? That was more no, than I'm just even playing. Houston. I'm just yeah. You just ate pork now? You just ate pork and bang. It was pork in this. Mm -hmm. Pork and beans. Oh, I sure do. Cool. <clears throat> Anyways, y'all. Tell us once again what y'all think would be um a good struggle meal for us to add to the end of the list. We got what four more days four more of days. struggle meals struggle left. Meals. As y'all know, like I said before, um tomorrow and the day after tomorrow, <clears throat> I won't be eating what daddy is eating. I'm still gonna sit down with y'all, chill, talk, all of that good old stuff. But I won't be eating what he's eating because the two things that he's eating next 
It's stuff that I just literally cannot eat and they don't make no vegetarian version. <coughs> well, maybe they do and I just don't know. It, but <clears throat> they might. I haven't seen one. So, anyways, you know what? I might do... We'll figure something out. I'll figure something out to where I can sit down and... <clears throat> I thought they did make a. a I'm oh, okay. it Anyways, y'all, we're done eating. We yeah. murdered that. Y'all know what I've been doing, which has really been helping me. Because at first, I was feeling like I didn't really want to do mukbangs no more <clears throat> because I felt like it was causing me to gain weight, which it actually was. So, but after we did that 21 day fast. I found me a method. Mm. This is what I do. I don't eat nothing all day. The one and only thing that I eat is when we sit down to do a mukbang. That's it. And it helps me to keep my weight down. Actually, I've still been losing weight. So, that's been helping a lot. So, I don't that's know. It's a, uh, a good method. It's basically intermittent fasting. So, I just do not eat until I eat my one meal. And then I make sure that I eat enough that it sustains my body. But it still helps me to lose weight. So, that's what I've been doing. So, we've been able to still do our videos and stuff like that. Man, that's a very good uh, method. Plus, um, I do want y'all to know that once we're done with um, our seven days of struggle meals, I'm going to, I will be back by myself doing Mommy Chronicles. I got some good strawberry letters. That I've been holding on to, saving, and I'm ready to talk about this. So, ladies, get yourselves ready. All right, but other than that, y'all, we're going to see y'all back tomorrow for day four of seven days of childhood struggle, struggle meals. Y'all know I have a hard time saying that every time. But anyways, we'll see y'all back tomorrow. We got another good meal for you guys. Tomorrow, we'll probably have a game. We had to kind of cut this video just a wee bit short <clears throat> because as we told you guys, we do have our uh, Thursday Night Live on Facebook where we do trivia night and stuff like that. So if you want to join in come and on you want to win, in. you want to win some buckets, out. come on over there and have trivia night with us tonight. <clears throat> We're giving away actually two cash out prizes. So y'all probably won't know that until tomorrow. So but just for the record, for next week, you can join in on Thursday. Look me up on Facebook at Latrina Scott and join on in with the fun and y'all come win some cash because the same person been winning every week. Y'all come get the this same money from person. Her. Come get this money from her. Somebody gotta take the title. Somebody gotta take the title. Come get it. Come and get it. Anyways, y'all, it's been real. The food was good, the conversation was great. We love y'all so much. Y'all already know what the deal is. If this is y'all first time visiting our channel, welcome to the Incredible Fam. Make sure y'all hit the subscribe button. Make sure y'all hit the bell to be notified every single time we drop a video. And make sure that you tell somebody. To tell somebody. To tell somebody. That the Scots are doing big things right here on our channel. We absolutely, positively love you guys so very much.